Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's review, which is going to be on the new Milk Makeup Color Chalk. I was super intrigued, super sucked in by this. It's probably totally gimmicky, but I really wanted to try it out because what if it's the best thing ever? So I did pick up two shades to try out and I actually have been trying them out prior to this video so I would know how to tell you to apply it. We've got a lot to talk about. So that being said, if you're interested in this product and you're wondering how it worked for me, <laughs> then just keep on watching. Okay, guys. So first and foremost, I'm gonna take you into the Sephora website real quick, just to kind of give you a description of what it is. Um, it is a color chalk multi-use powder pigment. So I don't think it's really just for the eyes, um, but I don't know that I'd wanna use it anywhere else. So let's go ahead and let you know what this says. It's a clean, extruded powder pigment that glides on smoothly for buildable payoff on eyes, cheeks, and lips. It comes in a peel-off wrapper and a portable reusable tube. It's gluten-free, cruelty-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. And it says, um, build bolder color with silky shimmering shades designed to be used wet or dry. This formula has a subtle scent made with a blend of essential oils. It comes in a peel-off wrapper and a protective portable reusable flip-flop flip top tube so there's no unnecessary packaging, pan, or palette waste. Since these pigments are handmade, no two are alike. So honestly, it sounds really appealing, really innovative, like, I mean, nothing like it. Um, and they make it sound pretty cool. So I did pick up two shades, the two shades that appealed the most to me, which are the bolder shades, is the plum shade and the pink shade. So it's called Skip It and Bounce. So I think first off, I'm just going to let you know, the first thing I thought when I took these out of the box was, I think they messed up. I think they sent me the sample size instead of the regular size. Then I realized there was no sample size. <laughs> this is how tiny they are. Now, granted, you can always look at the sizing on the Sephora website when you order something. I don't typically look at it. I kind of gauge by the picture. In this case, I really misjudged because the picture makes it look so much larger. So it does say that it comes with 0 0.09, I think it's 0 0.09 grams of product, which now, of course, now that I need it, I can't find it. Yeah, 0 0.09 ounces or 2.5 grams. Um, and then it's made in Italy, which usually the stuff made in Italy is really good. So this is what it looks like. Really, really tiny. And that was my first turn off. I was like, seriously, it was $18 for this. Now, granted, I've told y'all in the past, I am the hugest advocate for smaller quantity at less price. I would rather pay less and get less because I'm never going to go through all the makeup in my collection. But $18 for this was a little bit ridiculous. I was, okay, so I'm going to compare it to you with an actual free deluxe sample I got with my online order. And it's the Super Goop Daily Dose Vitamin C SPF. Now, granted, this is a cream, I get that. But just so that you have an idea of the differences in size, that is huge. That's a huge difference. And this is very, very tiny. So anyways, let's go ahead and go into the product itself. So it does come in this little component that you flip open like this. It's got like a little, I don't know, not styrofoam, but kind of, that kind of holds the pigment right there. And then you just kind of tip it over and pull out the little chalk stick um, the wrapper doesn't hold super tight, so you kind of have to end up pushing it back in. This is what it looks like, literally a stick of chalk. And I get it that we're all looking to be a little bit more aware and conscious, but about like, you know, product that we're using and all of this. But when you pay $18 for a product, at least for me, packaging is a big part of it. I love my collection. I hold on to it. It's not like I'm throwing away my palettes on a regular basis. I pretty much hold on to a lot of them a lot of the time. And so for me, this just felt cheap. So anyways, it's got this wrapper right here. It's got these little tabs that I'm hoping you can see right here that basically once you've dulled down the chalk enough, you grab a tab and you peel it off and you throw it away. And that like exposes a little bit more of the chalk. So basically you can use this again on your eyes, cheeks, lips, and you can go on directly. So I'm going to give you a couple of swatches so that you see what it looks like. This is the plum shade, which again is called Bounce. Um, and it is the deepest of all of the ones that they offer. 
And then as far as the pink, which is called, what is it? Skip it. Let's give you that swatch. This is what skip it looks like. So tiny though. <laughs> and you do kind of, I have found a couple of different things. If I'm like right now that I'm trying to give you a good, decent swatch, I am pressing down pretty hard, but on the eye, you don't have to press very hard in order to get payoff or pigment, I guess I should say. So this is what these two look like. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is that I anticipated these to be highly metallic based on what I had seen the photos on the website to show, and they are absolutely not. They're very dulled down. It's almost like a matte metallic, but that to me is, those are opposing terms. Yes, there's no matte metallic. So that's what those look like right there. Definitely, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you except that they're not as metallic as I had hoped. So um, we're gonna go ahead and put these on the eye together so that you have an idea. Um, pretty much gonna give you my thoughts in the demo as we go. So I won't, um, you know, won't go too much into that in the in the outro because we're gonna talk about it <laughs> as we're putting it on. Um, but I think you can already tell how I feel about these. Anyways, so, but there may be some out there that actually really enjoy these, you know, and who am I to say that no one should enjoy them. Um, for me, it's just, I think I was very just put off again by the sizing when it first, when I first opened it and then just, I was expecting a little bit more oomph, but it is what it is. So that being said, let's get into the demo so that you can see how I applied these, the different ways, because there are different ways you can apply them. And that way you have an idea of that. All right, let's get into that now. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put these to use. So we've got Skip It and we've got Bounce. Bounce being the plum, Skip It being the pink. These are the color chalk little crayons by Milk. I have already played with these. I've used them, so I kind of have an idea of how they work. Um, but we're gonna put these on the eyes together. They are so tiny, you guys. Uh, I legit thought I was sent the wrong thing because <laughs> it's as big as like a deluxe sample from Sephora, quite frankly. Like it's as big as my pinky. <laughs> it's so, so tiny. I've, I've never never purchased something this tiny from Sephora. Honestly, it's, it took me by surprise, but, um, you know, sometimes less is more. And if you can pay less then even better, but, um, let's go ahead and go in. So I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do one eye. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Okay. Let me do the plum all over the lid. And then we're going to use the pink on the inner corner and into kind of like create an arch the way I've done. So I already have my e.l.f. primer on my lid, so we're good there. Um, and yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Now, we've got a lot to talk through with these. Come in a tiny little component like this. It's So basically, it's supposed to be um, a little bit more environmentally friendly, like less waste, less plastic. I, here's the thing. I like to keep a lot of my makeup. I don't throw, I'm not wasteful in that I toss a lot of like eyeshadow palettes and things like that. My products last me for a long time. So for me, it's not necessarily wasteful for it to have plastic, um, but I guess a lot of people rotate out their stuff. I don't know. So anyways, it comes in this little component like this with the little lid. And then you just kind of, let's see, pull this thing out. You kind of tip it over and the little chalk comes like this. It is, hold on, because it's kind of like it has pushed up. There we go. So this is what it looks like. Now, there's these little tabs on the sides, which I'm hoping the lighting doesn't change as I do this. I hope you see that right there. Right here, there's little tabs that peel up. And as the chalk goes down, you peel one and tear it off and throw it away. Basically, again, environmentally friendly. So you can do one of two things. I find these smell like dentine chewing gum, like that cinnamon type of smell. So it's literally like chalk. You can paint it on your eyes. I've done it that way. You can go in with a brush, kind of, you know, grab some and go in that way. You can even wet your brush. These are meant to be also used with a wet brush. So that being said, so that you see what it looks like, we're gonna try it two ways. Again, I have tried it every which way, so I already know how this works but I'm gonna try it for you um, so that you know exactly, sorry, how it works um, using the different method, methods. So let me go ahead and scooch you in and we'll get started. All right, so we are super up close and personal at this point, but um, please, okay, couple of things. 
if my teeth look like they've got food, it's not food. It is a fluoride that was put on my teeth. I just went to the dentist um, to, my teeth have been super sensitive. So it, it starts to flake off as it dries. And so if it looks like I've got food in my teeth, I don't, that's what it is. Just didn't want you to be grossed out. And my under eyes are so crepey right now. And I think it's because I was in the dentist chair for a while. And uh, yeah, I was like, oh my goodness, I haven't had under eye crepage like that in a really long time. But since we're all up close and personally personal, I figured I'd let you know. So let's go ahead and right now we're going to just sweep this on the eye. So I'm not going in with a whole lot of pressure. I mean, obviously your eye area, you wanna be a little bit more delicate. So you wanna be careful. Um, so just kind of going in like this. Now, as we talk through this, I'm gonna tell you what I find to be pros and cons about this. Um, a lot of cons probably. <laughs> but so as I'm sweeping, you see some of this is going up here and it's harder to be more precise with this because it's a chunky stick. You know, I mean, again, think of it as just straight up chalk. That's what it feels like, that's what it looks like. But um, so it's harder. So that's why you may end up preferring to use a brush also. This is the second, this is the third time that I've used this, second or third? This is the third time that I've used this particular one, the pink I've used twice, and it has gone down a little bit. So hasn't gone down a whole lot, but for two times, it's already starting to kind of dull down. So something to take note of as well. So I had honestly anticipated these to be super metallic based on the photos, and you can tell, like, it's a little bit dulled down. It's not a metallic high shine like I thought it was going to be anyways. So now I'm gonna take a brush because I can't get that chunky piece of chalk into any of these areas. If I have trouble enough getting my finger in there to blend things out in my tutorials, then I can certainly not get a piece of chalk up there. So let's go ahead and kind of smooth this out. Now, I will say these do, they blend easily, they smooth out easily. It's not like it dries down and you don't have a whole lot of dry time. Um, they're easy to work with. Once you get them on the lid, they're very easy to work with. So like, look, I even have some down here. I don't know how that happened, but usually my left eye is a little messier than my right. So just going in and continuing to blend. And there we've got that. I mean, it's a single eyeshadow type of thing, kind of like the cream shadows by Rare Beauty or the Huda shadows, like the ones where you put on your eye, you sweep it out and that's pretty much it. You're not gonna do as complex of a look as you would with an eyeshadow palette unless you're using this to supplement an eyeshadow palette. So now I'm gonna go in with a blending brush and just kind of blend what's there because I don't want it to be looking all harsh either. And these do blend, let's try something else. I'm gonna show you. So if I take it up here, like on and again, just be gentle because like right now I'm like, man, I'm going a little rough. So drawing on my eye with the chalk, it sounds so weird, but, um, and then just blending it out and you'll see it blends out really, really easily, really nicely. Okay. So see that really didn't take a whole lot of work. So, um, that is one layer um we'll put a little bit more but um yeah that's one layer of the chalk you can tell it, it's a little bit dulled down it's not like super shiny or anything like that so on any given day i'd go in with two layers just because one i could still see like my veins peeking through and stuff i'm not a fan of that i like super i like nice and opaque most of the time anyway so just gonna do this because I do have to even it out like I swept it on my eye but then certain parts of my lid got more pigment than others and it's just anyways so um I wouldn't say these have like any kind of learning curve it's just that I don't know it literally is like playing with chalk and even like down here I still feel like it's a little bit light I feel like I have a hard time getting all the way down there. But anyways, okay. So let's do something else. Now I'm going to go ahead. I have a um, spray that I'm going to spray my brush. Nothing super spectacular. So I did spray it probably a little too much. Okay. Well, yeah, I did spray it a little much. Okay. Now my brush is sprayed down. Let's go ahead and grab the chalk and let's grab it with just the brush. Let me do this. 
Now, I do go in pretty firm because I like to go in with a lot of pigment and it takes it a minute to really build up on the brush. Even then, we're gonna have to get more. So, now let's go ahead and sweep this on this eye. So you see like, okay, how can I explain it to you? What I just picked up on that chalk, that'll do about that much. Now I gotta go in with more because, let me spray my brush again. Cause that, that's it. That's, that's as much as it stretched. So I'm gonna take some more. Now it's really starting to dull down. You see, so here soon, I'm gonna have to get to where I peel that first part off. Still going in with some, you guys. Ooh, hope I'm not getting it all over my comforter. <laughs> my comforter's white. Okay, let's do that. All right. And we're gonna go in with more. So again, you see how it's not super metallic and I am using a wet brush. It's almost like a dulled down type of metallic shade, which is not usually my favorite. To me, that's kind of like a matte metallic, which is a total oxymoron and yeah, it's in, that's just, no. <laughs> so then what I do is I'm gonna grab some more and then we're gonna put this on the crease so that we can blend it out. Yeah. Let's put a little more up here because I just noticed I went a little higher on this eye than I did on this eye. Okay. So blending out, and again, it blends out pretty smoothly, pretty easily. Like it's not taking a whole lot of work to do that, but in addition to that though, I feel like because it's so easily smooths out like that, it ends up blending a lot of the pigment away. So like I'm, I've got a bald spot right there that I feel like I need to go back in with. And that'll basically take care of that. Like I, I don't know. I feel like the color is also super off from what it showed online. Like, yeah, I don't know. See, and I'm, okay, I'm just gonna leave it as is just so you can see the difference. But do you see like this one did go in with more pigment. This one that we went straight in, uh, onto the lid with the chalk, it's a little bit lighter. Like you can tell there is a difference in how deep each one is. Okay, but let's move on. So let me clean my brush a little bit because we're gonna go into the pink in case you're wondering how the pink works. And it works the exact same way. Um, also not a true fan of the color. And this is the pink one right here. So. <laughs> you hear somebody talking, my husband's in the other room, he's on the phone. Okay, so here's what the pink one looks like. Again, based on this uh, pictures, <laughs> online on the Sephora website, it looked super, super metallic. So anyways, not really, not really a fan. But anyways, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, you know what? I can't do the same thing because um, I can't. Okay. Uh, that's a, let's, all right. Don't even mind me. I'm like babbling at this point, just so that you can see how difficult it is to work with these. Like I'm trying, I'm going to try and get it right here. But like, it's, 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 you can't, you really can't. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with a dry brush and then a wet brush. <clears throat> but, and, and when you, um, you're not going to be able to see it, but when you're kind of swiping your brush over, it's like chalk dust going everywhere. So let's go ahead and place this here. And then I'm going to, like I told y'all, I'm going to create like a little arch, but there's really not like a ton of difference between the two shades to where you can really see a differentiation. Like for me, I would expect this to be super blinding inner corner highlight and it's not. Like you can barely even see it probably. So let's do one more layer right here. Take it up right here. It's, it's literally looking like I've got one shade, but anyways. Okay, so that is that. And now we're gonna go ahead and wet the brush and we will do the other eye. So 
So wetting the brush for this one brings out a little bit more pigment, obviously. See how that one is like that? This one's right here. So we're gonna just do this. In essence, that's basically it. Just gonna take it down a little because it's looking a little bare, but that's the gist of it, you guys. That is the ever so famous color chalk. <laughs> Let me go ahead and do mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. It's nothing spectacular, um, definitely innovative, but it's there's still a lot that can be worked out there for something super extraordinary in this kind of product. So as you could tell, as you could see in the demo, and even with the finished look, it's something that you can grab out of an eyeshadow palette. This is just nothing that you need to go be paying $18 for. I mean, this makeup is for everybody, right? So like what appeals to me may not appeal to you and vice versa. So this may not be something that I would go out and buy, but it may be something that really interests you. So of course, don't let me deter you if you have been really intrigued by these, but truly for from my standpoint, from my point of view, from someone who really loves these kind of unique products and really metallic type of finishes, these are a true dud. And for $18, I think that was the biggest part of it. I found them to be so expensive. If you want more, you have to keep on forking over $18 for a small piece of chalk. So definitely not worth the price tag. I would pass, hard pass on these if you've been wondering how they work and uh, maybe wait for that next innovative thing that comes out. So guys, before I let you go, I just want to give you a very quick verse of the day in an effort to motivate you, encourage you, and tell you that Jesus loves you. Today's comes from Psalm 37, 23, and it says, The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. And I give, that, give you that verse to show you how amazing he is, that he would just want to be so involved in every little aspect of our lives. I'm going to throw up a phone number in case you need prayer. You can use it or not. No, no cost, no obligation. It's just literally if you are in a place where you need someone to talk to, you need somebody to pour out your heart to, then you can go ahead and give them a call and they would just be honored to talk to you and pray with you. All right, guys. Well, that brings us to the end of today's video. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you had a little bit of fun just stopping by and chatting makeup with me. So until the next one, please stay safe and stay well. I love you, but remember that Jesus loves you so much more. See you soon. Bye guys.